I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make monofilament eyes and a couple of variables just to consider. One is uh, the thickness of the line, so you can go anywhere from I'd say 12 pounds monofilament up to what I have in the in the vise, and this is a 50 pound. Um, and then also, I typically do these with, with just the pliers to help me control. And you can uh, adjust how far apart the eyes are set. Uh, if you hold it towards the tip, you'll have very narrow uh, eyes. And then the further down in the jaws you go, uh, the wider set the eyes will be. Uh, in addition to the thickness of the line, you can sh uh, determine the, the shape and the size of the eyes by how much material you leave off either side. Since this is a pretty heavy uh, line that I'm going to use here, I don't need uh, much line off, so I'm just going to trim this just a little bit. I've got it centered in my jaws, but again, you can use your pliers, and I typically do. And then just apply some heat to it. So I'll just take my lighter, and as it begins to melt, you can see it it'll start to make that ball shape if it drips at all or starts to drip you can just spin your vise or manipulate your jaws on your um, pliers to help compensate for that this stuff cools really quickly so in a matter of a second or two uh, it's cool enough to touch and then I can just flip it around in my vise and just do the the same thing on the other side so just add some heat to it And then you can see again, uh, it doesn't take it doesn't take long before this is cool to the touch. It also takes a sharpie pretty well. So if you wanted to do different colored eyes, uh, you can just come back through and if I want these to be orange, uh, you can just add some coloring to it. And again, it it takes pretty well. So that's one example. Uh, the other thing that I've been messing with is using glass beads to help. Uh, make different colored eyes and uh, just uh, a little bit more dimension to them. So now I've dropped my line to a 20 pound monofilament and this is a, a blue string and again I'll just repeat the process. I've added two green uh, glass beads to this and what will happen here is as I melt the line uh, it will adhere to uh, the glass beads and it will create a little bump just like it did uh, with the other eyes but it will help keep that in place. So now you can start to experiment with what color uh, beads you want to use to get uh, these different color variations and also uh, there's a lot of high vis line out there so if you use a yellow line uh, it'll have uh, a different dimension to the eye as well so you can do two different colors so you could do like a red bead uh, with with yellow eyes etc so something to play around with so I'll show you how this works again just put it in my in my vise and I'll just melt down the end until it gets to the until it gets to the bead and then again you can see that little extra extra bump there and so now it's melted into the bead it'll uh, hold in place there and I can just flip it around and do the same thing to the other side and that's it so now you've got uh, glass beads on on either side and those are just craft store uh, beads that I use but I think it just makes uh, makes for some really cool eyes. So something to experiment and play around with.